back. Since I have gotten my curly cut, that was last February, February 24th, 2019 to be exact. So as you can see right now, my hair was in a wash and go. The first day I did the wash and go, it looked really good, but then I put it in twist. But because I work from home due to the shutdown, I haven't been able to take out my hair. But even if I wanted to take out my hair, I wasn't going to feel comfortable with it because let me tell you why. Last week, I went to go wash out my hair. I started the video with my daughter and I couldn't really film like I wanted to because I have my iPhone that I'm using right now. And unfortunately, when I try to record it was just too many things that were going on in the background. Well, I thought I was doing something by putting my, one of my favorite deep conditioners in my hair, which is the Diva Curl Melt into Moisture. Well, I put it in on a Friday night. I didn't wash it out until Sunday. So now my hair feels really stringy. It feels really... Something doesn't feel right about it. Um, yeah, even though think... Diva Curl says that you can leave it in for... You can leave it in for a couple minutes to even overnight for extra moisture. I know I did something wrong. As you can see, my hair has grown since the since the curly cut in 2019. This is the back of my hair. And if you look, it is down. Ooh, if you look at it, it is down here. So, and that, well, let me keep my head straight. It is down here. A while back, it was up here. So definitely been doing good with that and the front the front is here and it is down here too so what I'm going to do today is I am going to wash my hair and I'm actually trying out something new this is by a good friend of mine her name is Paris she has a twin sister by the name of I think it's Eris if I'm wrong, Paris, I'm so sorry. Um, but these ladies have created the hairline, the Butterland. And this is it here. With the Butterland, this is this is home homemade stuff. This is actually the hair and skin whip shea butter. There's also a detangling. There's also a, oh, actually I have it here. This is the aloe hydrating and detangling leave-in conditioner. This is it here. This is the um, shampoo. It is a black soap shampoo. You can also use this on your face. So this is the distilled water black, pure black soap, hemp and tea tree oil castile soap used to heal and nourish the scalp. A gentle cleanse without stripping hair. Shake well, apply directly to the scalp or beard. Massage into scalp or beard until gentle lather is created. Do this at least two times. Rinse and style as normal. And then I have the aloe hydrating and detangling leave-in conditioner. This has water, aloe, aloe juice, coconut oil, glycerin, BTMS, conditioning emulsifier, natural preservative, and lavender oil. And then I have her hair and skin whip shea butter, which is eight ounce. And it smells so good. But as you guys can see, I am starting to run out and I have to reach out to her um she also has a mask that I actually wish I could use right now um and I can't but I actually got this as a whole set um I got this as a whole set there is um a styling cream that I don't have down here because I'm going to be using these items today but she has a whole set that she sells but if you go on to her website that if I remember, I'm going to put it down in the description below. This is a black owned business by two African American women who have done wonderful things. And I'm also going to put um, their, I'm going to put their site on there and see if I can put contact information on there. So I'm going to use this for my hair. Um, and we're going to do a deep conditioner mask. I am also going to um, style my hair with the Not Your Mother's Curl Talk Frizz Control Sculpting Gel, the Defining Cream, and I'm also going to use the Leave-In Conditioner here. I'm gonna wash my hair first. I am going to use this. I'm gonna use this on camera. I'm just gonna wet my hair up first. But when after I do that, I'm going to use this because we're gonna apply this to my scalp. I'm going to apply it to my scalp. We're going to get a nice lather going. We're going to rinse it out. We're going to do it twice. And then after that, we're going to come up with our own do-it-yourself deep conditioner. So after I wash my hair, it actually feels, hmm, it don't feel as stringy. Maybe I used too much product when I was doing my wash and go, but 
whatever that's water under the bridge so we're going to use the black castor oil um excuse me black castor oil we're going to use the liquid black soap now you can use this on your face men can use it for their beards but i'm using it for my hair of course so we're going to spray this in here and i am using my finger i'm using my fingers i'm not using my nails because that will cause an issue and it says to work it in so you get a really good lather. So. Let's do it in the back. All right, folks, I'm gonna wash this up. I am going to make a homemade uh, deep conditioner. So I'm gonna use an aloe vera leaf. I'm gonna cut the insides of the leaf so we can get all the aloe vera out of here. I'm getting ready to put this into the blender. I am going to put the aloe vera pieces in here. All right. And then I'm going to take some of the um, Jamaican mango and lime black castor oil. I'm gonna put some of that in here. Definitely good. I'm gonna use the last of what is in here. I'm wondering if I should warm it up a little bit. Nah. I'm gonna just put the rest of this in here. Put in the Butterland Aloe Hydrating and Detangling Conditioner. Then I'm gonna put in some of this shea butter. I'm gonna put some honey in here. And this is pure honey. And then I'm gonna use the uh, Garnier Whole Blends Refreshing Conditioner, silicone free coconut water and aloe vera extract hydration. Um, conditioner. I'm going to go ahead and mix this up <clears throat> and I'll be back so I can show you how I'm going to apply it. This is how it looks. It looks really good. So it's actually trying to come out. So I'm going to scoop this up in this old bowl that I had from a while ago. Trying to get all of this out of here. Oh, now we're going to start this section here and then I'm going to apply. And what you're going to do, you want to start taking it. You can start at the at the bottom, you can start at the ends and work your way up, or you could just however you want to do it, whatever you feel comfortable with. And I'm going to twist this. <clears throat> and then we're going to twist the ends if you're having an issue with edges make sure that you get your edges
right so as you can see this whole side is done and with the power of editing this side is going to be done you see what the power of editing does for you this is my hair So we are done. I am going to put my hair in a plastic cap and I'm going to sit under the dryer. Okay, everybody, I am back. As you can see, I have washed my hair out and I have sectioned off my hair so I can get started with my wash and go. So as I stated in the beginning of the video, I'm gonna try out the Not Your Mother's um, line. So this is the uh, Not Your Mother's Way to Grow Leave-In Conditioner. And I'm also going to be trying out the defining cream as well as the sculpting gel. So I am going to be using these items. Now to talk about the deep conditioner, it felt really good on my hair. Um, it definitely did the trick. The only issue is there's a couple pieces left in here in my hair. I, you know, it's okay. So um, we'll, worry about that later here is already wet if it starts to dry out I have my mister here with some warm water um, so I'm pretty sure by the time I get to the other ends I'm going to be needing some water so I'm just gonna spray this here and then I have shaken up the not your mother's leave-in we're just gonna spray it around oh I was worried it was gonna be like a little stream but no this is an actual spray I'm already liking this. So I have my detangler, well, my, you know, my detangle brush, whatever you want to call it, denim brush. Um, so I have that with me. So I am going to apply the defining cream to my hair first. Now, also, this comes with a rice curl complex on it. It's for all curl types. It locks in moisture, defrids, and adds shine to your hair. So here's that. I am very product heavy, so I, please don't do what I just did, but here it is here. And I am just now applying. So I have a mirror here. If you see me constantly looking over here to the side, it's because I'm watching myself in the mirror right here. Right, so I'm going to add some more of the defining cream. I'm just going to add a little bit here. And I'm just going to add it to that section. So this is really definitely defining. And I haven't even added the gel yet. It's definitely defining my curls. I really like this so far. So definitely worth it. So now that I have added everything to this one section, I am now going to apply the gel. So I've got I did another section. products smell good it's not a heavy fragrance you know it's not something that is just going to jump out at you it's a nice little subtle fragrance to it
two hours later. Can we talk real quick? Okay. So, as you can see, this is my hair. This is my wash and go result. Um, I don't like it. So I did it. I did it on camera. I left it alone for about an hour or two. Well, excuse me, I'm lying. Left it alone for about an hour. Then I took a dryer and took my diffuser and I diffused it and everything and um, it did what my wash and goes were doing when I first started doing my hair. I don't like it. Now, I don't have flakes. That's the good part. I don't have flakes. Stuff is coming out of my hair, but it's really the aloe vera pieces that I had um, earlier today. But this ain't it. Look, see? I wanted to try to stretch it, but it was frizzing up. I mean, it was frizzing up when I was first doing my hair. So that lets you know I am, I'm not feeling this at all. It's, I'm sorry, but this is not it. It's not it at all. Um, I didn't mention that in the Natural Mother's Curl Talk, it does have a three uh, hold out of five. It's a three. I'm gonna probably put it, I think it's safe to say that this type of gel is probably good. It, even though it says that it's good for all hair types, I highly doubt that. Um, if you have very thick hair, I don't think that this is the gel for you. And if you can see very well, I use more than half of the product. So I have some tape on here because when I received the product, it was cracked right here, but it didn't have any gel that was coming out. But I used a lot just to try to, you know, tame my hair. I guess this is half, but it looks like more than half of me. I hope that you really, really, really enjoyed this video. Hope it wasn't too long for you. Hope I still have your attention. If you like what you saw, please leave a comment below. Like, subscribe, share this video with somebody that you might think might like it. Um, and I'm going to see you in my next videos. Bye.